What's up guys? I'm Exotic Gaming and today I am back with another Pixel Gun 3D video. So over the past couple of days I have uploaded a lot of gun reviews to my channel and I decided that today would be the day where I finally take a break from those constant weapon reviews and do something a little bit more fun. A random weapon gameplay. Today's random weapon gameplay is a gameplay I've been wanting to do for a very long time and it is called Space Weapon Gameplay. So without further ado, Let's jump right into the shop menu and show you guys the weapons that I will be using in today's video. The primary weapon that I will be using is the alien rifle, and pretty much everybody watching this can associate aliens with outer space, so it's pretty much the ultimate primary weapon for this video. The backup weapon is very obvious, it's called the Space Blaster, I mean it literally has the word space in its name. The melee weapon is the Dark Force Saber, and the reason why I chose, chose this is because this is related to the Star Wars movie franchise. And if you don't know what Star Wars is, it's a movie where it takes place in outer space, and one of the main characters, Darth Vader, has a red lightsaber, which is very similar to the Dark Force Saber, and since it takes place in outer space, this is the perfect weapon for the melee section. The special weapon is the Vacuumizer, and whether or not you guys realize this, outer space has a very low density, and that physical property basically considers it a natural vacuum, and that is why I chose this as our special weapon of choice. The Sniper Rifle is the Space Rifle, another very obvious one, it literally has the word space in its name. And then lastly, for the premium weapon, we have the Dark Matter Generator, which is based off of Dark Matter, a very interesting thing that you can find in the universe. So with that being said, let's jump right into a match. Alright guys, so here we are now in a Slender Forest Deathmatch, a map that I very rarely play in for YouTube videos just because there are very few maps of this actually available with a decent amount of people in it. This map has I think five other people in it, so it's a pretty decently filled map, not the most filled map in the world, but I decided to do something different for this random weapon gameplay just because I always go into the same maps over and over again. It's always either Paradise Resort or Silent School, and I wanted to go into something a little bit different for today's video. I was going through the list of servers and I came across the one that I am in right now, and it was titled something like, YouTubers Only, No Kill. And you know, I can join the server, I'm a YouTuber, it would make a lot of sense if I did join it. But, the problem is, I'm not too keen on the whole no kill type thing. So I'm gonna join the server, and I'm not going to kill any single person that I encounter, alright? I'm going to kill whoever the heck I want, and if anybody tells me otherwise, well that's just too bad. Because the truth is, guys, nobody can tell you to not kill in a Pixel Gun 3D server. Nobody has that authority, because Pixel Gun is all about killing, and there's no such thing as a no-kill server, alright guys? I wanted to say that right at the very beginning of this video here, because I'm honestly amazed how many people actually believe in no-kill servers. They actually think no-kill servers are a common thing to have in Pixel Gun 3D, and the truth is, they really aren't, okay? If you go into a Pixel Gun server and somebody tells you to not kill, you don't have to worry about them reporting you for not killing, because, I mean, hey, you can kill them and nothing is going to happen. Do you know how many times I have been reported from people saying that I have killed them in a no-kill server? Probably upwards of 80 times. And the thing is, they never are able to kill me because they never have a decent enough reason to do so. Whenever you try to report somebody, you always have to give really soft a legitimate reason when you are reporting them. It's not like the second you report them, they're going to be banned. So telling them that they killed you is not a legitimate reason and they're not going to do anything about it. I wanted to say that at the very beginning of this video, just so you guys knew, and just to clear anything up, in case you guys are a little worried, maybe somebody thought that they were going to report you if you killed them in a no-kill server, because it's not going to happen. You don't have to worry about it. So, with that being said, guys, I wanted to talk about a little story at the beginning of this video. Actually, before I get into the actual main story of this video, I wanted to talk about a little story of something that's related to the whole no-killing type thing, and it's something that happened a couple of months ago that I never decided to actually talk about, because I never really thought it was decent enough to talk about on video. But, now that I am on the topic of no killing and stuff like that, it's probably decent enough to talk about now, and hey, it is what it is. So, about three to four months ago, probably, I actually don't know when it happened, but I'm gonna say three to four months ago just for the heck of it, I was in this one Pixel Gun 3D server, and there was only one other player in it. It was a Coliseum two-player Pixel Gun server, and I saw the list of server names, and I saw that one, and it was titled something like, I need a girlfriend. And, you know, me, obviously being the type of person that I am, I wanted a boyfriend, no sarcasm whatsoever, and I joined the server and I wanted to see what the kid had to say. So I joined. And the second I joined, the kid is like, are you a girl? And I'm just like, no, I'm not, child. I am not a girl. And guess what? 
I don't freaking care. And he's like, well, leave, please, because I want a girlfriend. And I'm just like, kid, I don't really care if you want a girlfriend or not. I'm going to join because I want to kill you nice and easily. I want to get a nice, easy win and some easy coins from killing you for doing so. Yet, this kid just did not stop. He honestly thought that I should have to leave because he wanted a girl to join the server. And he's sitting there threatening to report me, and I'm just sitting there laughing in the chats. He honestly threatened to call the cops on me. In all honesty, imagine if this kid actually called the cops on me for killing him in a pixel gun server. Imagine that. You're sitting there, 911, what's your emergency? And then the other line, you just see this kid sitting there. Oh my god, this kid killed me in pixel gun, and I told him to not do so. What do I do? Like, he'd not even be able to finish his call before they just end up ending the call because it's not a legitimate thing to actually report on. So, guys, if you're in a pixel gun server and you're telling somebody to not kill, listen, they don't have to ob obey to you, okay? They don't have to listen to you. And that's the honest truth in the pixel gun 3D servers that you go into. So I thought I'd talk about that right at the very beginning, but I wanted to talk about a little story, a little something that happened about two years ago that I mentioned in the video that I uploaded right before this one, the video that I uploaded on the game called Slither.io. I talked about it at the very end of the video, very briefly, but it wasn't that great of a story because I ended up ending the video before I could really get super in-depth with the story. So I'm going to talk about it right now. Now, this is about a story that happened in China when I was there two years ago. I'm not entirely sure what this person is doing right now. That's a nice easy kill. Or not, never mind, I lied. I thought I was gonna be able to kill that guy, but I, I guess he wasn't AFK. But I was in China, and this is a story about this one psychotic girl that I had the misfortune of being on that trip with, and then again last summer when I was in Vietnam with. This girl was named Rachel, and she was literally the worst person I have ever met in my entire life. She is the most annoying, least attractive, and probably the worst person just overall ever that I, I just absolutely hate it, in all honesty. She just was one of these people that I just had a passion of hatred towards, and it was just pretty much hate at first sight. We absolutely hated each other. It wasn't like me hating her and she not caring. She hated me as well, and we always were like harassing each other and stuff like that. She always usually was the one who started it, and I would just have to reply because I'm not gonna let this girl that I absolutely hate just harass me and let her completely go in and roast me and stuff like that, so I was harassing her back. And this was a story about basically what happened when we were in Tibet. We were in eastern Tibet, way out in the middle of nowhere, in this tiny town by a town by the name of Ya'an. It was a town that actually had an earthquake back in 2008. You guys can probably look up the town on Google Images and stuff like that. It was a very big earthquake and a lot of people died in it, but we visited the town because it was a panda research base right next to where we actually were staying. We were going to do some community service hours by a little panda research base, and it was really freaking awesome. But this girl was a constant problem. So we get to the... That was a really nice no-scope, by the way. We get to the town, and we go to our little hotel, which isn't a hotel. It's just a Buddhist monastery that was built in, like, the 1300s. It was really cool, although it was around 100-something degrees outside, and there were no doors, no windows, and no air conditioning. There were just holes in the wall for where the door and the little window were. It was pretty crude, but it is what it is in a tiny little 5,000-person town out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, I got to give them respect. They did have showers and stuff like that, but actually, talking about the shower... It was definitely one of the most interesting showers I have ever been in in my entire life. So, I get into the little t I get into the little uh, hotel room, the little Buddhist monastery with my friends, and I am amazed to see this little shower connected to the little bathroom. It's in the same bathroom, which isn't the weird part. I mean, hey, all showers are usually in the bathrooms. But the problem was there was a little squat toilet in the middle of the bathroom. And I had seen squat toilets before, so it wasn't a big deal. But when I went to take a shower, I saw that the shower head actually pointed directly into the squat toilet. And I was the third person out of the three people in my room to take a shower. So the two people that were in my room already used the toilet before I went in to take my shower. And I had to basically position myself over the toilet to take the shower. The shower head water pressure was at a pretty much lowest you could possibly have, and the water temperature was at like 55 degrees. It was insanely cold. Like if this was a place that you were in in an extended period of time, you'd probably have to wear like a freaking wetsuit in order to not die from hypothermia in this water. It was insanely cold. But 
I mean, also, I live in Florida as well, so, I mean, it's, it's freezing cold for somebody who lives in Florida. I'm the type of person where if it's anything lower than, like, 80 degrees, I'm insanely cold. But, hey, it is what it is. It was seriously cold for everybody that was on my trip. But I'm sitting there taking my shower, and then the worst part was, at the very end, I go to go reach for my towel, and my two friends already took the, the towels that were there, and I had to go use a hand, little hand-washing towel type thing to dry my entire body off. A little washcloth! This little one foot by one foot towel to wash my entire, or dry my entire body off. And ugh, it was just the worst possible thing ever. But this is not regarding Rachel. I just wanted to give you guys the whole scenery of what basically went down. So there was me and my two friends and we invited the girls that we liked over. There was a girl that I liked. Her name was Erica that I invited over. And then this guy, who was my friend, invited this other girl. I forgot her name, but he invited her over to just kind of chill with us in our room and stuff like that. Just sit on the beds and talk about basically what was going to happen the next couple of days at the panda base and stuff like that. But things kind of went downhill after one of the girls decided to bring Rachel along. Because Rachel was their roommate and Rachel was a little bit, you know, sad for not having anybody in her room. So she decided to go visit and see what the heck was going on. Of course, the second she goes into my room, she's just like, Ew, Michael. And I'm just like, uh, hi, Rachel. Like, that's honestly what I said. Because, I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't have any hatred towards her at that exact second. I was just like, uh, hey, Rachel, what's up? But she still was just like, ew, it's Michael. And she honestly had, like, this hatred in her voice towards me. I seriously was kind of scared of her. But we're sitting there talking. And then we get on the subject of Rachel, all right? She actually started harassing us first. So it wasn't even us who were provoking the whole thing and stuff like that but she started talking and she started saying really mean stuff about us like the girl that I liked I didn't even reveal to her that I liked her and she's sitting there and she's just like "Ooh, Erica Michael likes you and saying stupid things like that so I'm getting really annoyed so I start saying mean things about Rachel to her because hey it's just reciprocal she's saying the mean things first I had the complete right to say those things too and, uh, yeah. Also, I hated her, so, I mean, I pretty much had the right to say those things anyway, just to get back at everything she said that was stupid about her. Like, for example, she said the most dumbest things you would have ever seen in your entire life. Like, one of the things she said, when we were in Beijing, we were, uh, going around the town and stuff like that, and our one tour guide is just like, all right, this is the bird's nest, famous for the opening ceremony of the 2008 Beijing Olympic Games. She's pointing at a building, and Rachel's like this. Is that a real bird's nest? completely legitimate question. And we just look at her like, are you retarded? But anyways, back to the story. That was actually a really bad match, by the way. Only five freaking kills. It's because whenever I talk about a story, I always get sidetracked and I never actually focus on the gameplay. But hey, I wanted to tell you guys the story and whatever happens, happens. But anyways, so we're sitting there talking, harassing uh, Rachel and stuff like that. And then the worst thing happens. She gets mad. She gets really mad. Like she honestly looks like a raging bull whenever you go to a bullfight or something like that. It was honestly the scariest thing ever. She stands up and she's just breathing heavily looking at me. She's just like, <sighs> and I'm just like, oh my God, Rachel, are you dying? Are you having a heart attack? Or is, are you okay, Rachel? Do you need me to like call the freaking counselor or something like that? And she's just like, you don't say these things mean about me. And I'm just like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to say that. It was just, it was just for fun. All right, Rachel, calm down. God dang, but she was having none of that. She was on a raid. She was mad She was more mad than I had ever been in any of my pixel gun videos ever whenever I raged about anything ever God dang it. I'm not getting a freaking single kill either I'm so freaking worked up about this story. I'm not getting a single kill in this entire time so far Let me just get this one guy. Can I get this one guy? All right. Good. Good. Hold on. But anyways, all right so Rachel's sitting there, she stands up, she's breathing heavily, threatening me all the while, and then she sees my knife, which I had bought just a little while earlier. I was going through the town and they were selling knives and I wanted to go buy one to bring back home because I like knives a lot, they're really cool. I'll actually show you, show you guys a picture on screen right now, what it looks like. But that's what the knife looked like, and it was really interesting because I saw Rachel looking at it, and she was just standing there looking at it for like a couple seconds, a good second or two, and I was like, what is she gonna do? And then she reaches for it and she actually gets the knife and I'm like, oh my God, there's no freaking way she actually has my knife. I mean, I didn't actually say that, but seriously, I could not believe she actually had my knife and she was threatening me with it. She's swinging it around right next to me, threatening to like hit me with the knife and everybody else is sitting there like trying to calm her down like Rachel, oh my God, you gotta calm down, okay? This is, we're just sitting there talking about you, okay? We're not sitting there threatening to like kill you or something like that. But Rachel was having none of it. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Freaking hiccups. But anyways, uh, Rachel, yeah, she just had none of that, and she started threatening me, and she eventually got the knife, and then everybody actually blocked her and prevented her from doing that, so luckily, she didn't hurt me or anything, but she may have just slightly hurted me a little bit, because she started punching me, alright? And it was honestly pretty funny, because she has, like, the weakest punches in the entire world. She's, like, 300 pounds, but yet, she has the weakest, most pathetic punches you will have ever seen from anybody in the entire world. And the way she did it, she was like, she would like swing at like at least five feet or so. She honestly did like this really big wind up like you would see in a professional baseball match. And she'd make like the most like pathetic sound when she would do that. She'd be like, eh, eh, like when she would punch me, all right? She did it at least four times. And then the fifth time, she winds up. She punches, everybody's using the storm hammer, by the way, in the mines launcher. I can't freaking kill these people with these weapons. But she winds up, and she swings, she hits my shoulder, and it bounces off of my shoulder and hits the freaking wall right next to me, okay? And I'm just looking at her like, Rachel, you are an idiot. What are you doing? Yet, she starts screaming at me. She honestly thought it was my fault. She's like, oh my god, you broke my wrist. And me, being the person that I am, I mean, like, she's sitting there punching me and threatening to kill me. So I'm just like, okay, well, that's just too bad. I'm so sorry. Not really. Just kidding. JK, LOL. <laughs> and uh, she's sitting there, and she's sitting there crying. And it was, it was honestly kind of funny because she honestly was trying to kill me, all right? And I, uh... You know, I just kind of let it happen. She eventually ran out of the room and she started telling the counselor. The counselor was like, all right, what happened? She gave her side of the story, which is basically something like, Michael tried to stab me. Like, she literally completely changed the story to the point where she said Michael tried to stab me. And of course, everybody else, there were like four other people in the room. The counselor goes over to the room and she's just like, all right. What happened? Give us your story. And everybody had the same story of what I just told you guys there. So she's just like, all right, Rachel, stop changing the story up. Uh, we can clearly see you were the one who provoked the argument. So just do better next time, all right? And I didn't get in trouble at all. It was the best thing ever. And uh, yeah, Rachel even hated me more afterwards. So it was pretty funny, guys. And I actually wanted to just tell you guys that story now. I, uh, I talked about it very briefly in the video that I uploaded right before this one, but uh, I wanted to get a lot more into the story right now for this video. So hopefully you guys did enjoy that story. I know you guys really like the stories that I post on my channel, and that was a pretty intense one for sure. Because, I mean, I almost died from this freaking girl when I was in China, many miles away from home, so my parents couldn't have done anything about it. I, have, I actually, I don't even think I told my parents about it, so hopefully they're not listening to me because they probably wouldn't even want to send me on another trip ever anywhere else because they might actually think she's on the trip. Luckily, she's not on the trip that I'm going to Peru because I'm going on the same tour company to when I'm going to Peru this summer, but luckily she's not there, so I don't have to worry about that. I had the misfortune to deal with her when I was in Vietnam this past summer, Vietnam, Thailand, and Cambodia. I saw her on the list of players, and I almost died because I was like, no, it's Rachel. I'm going to kill myself, but no, not seriously. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to actually end the video here, guys. I hope the gameplay was all right. I know this was a longer video just because I wanted to tell you guys this little story and uh, it was pretty funny. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this. If you guys did, then be sure to hit that like button, comment, favorite, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Pixel Gun videos. I'm so happy with how this has turned out gameplay and commentary wise because I've tried to do this video for so long. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and finally I have gotten it recorded and uh, I'm really happy with how many kills I have gotten in this match. Slender Forest is a great match, guys, and you guys should definitely consider going in this more often. If you ever see a map available with over four players in it, join into it. And maybe, if enough people go into the match, then I might even do some videos on it. But with that being said, the match is just about finished. I'm just going to end the match here, see how many kills I get. Wow, I just got a lot of kills really quickly right there at the very end. And the match has ended, so I will end it here. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.